This tiny little box can mean the difference between living a healthy life. There's a lot of people that have been on weight loss um, programs all their life. And struggling with the effects of poor diet choices. People that go on crash diets and they go really low calorie. Um, what happens is that, you know, of course, losing the weight is never usually the issue. The issue is keeping the weight off. So this handheld device is called FitMate, a smaller version of a machine normally used in a hospital setting. For when people are on artificial feeding, like a tube feeding. Now available to help those trying to lose weight or just maintain it. So what this piece of equipment allows you to do is to get at that rate where you're losing one to two pounds a week, which is what the recommendations are, without sacrificing lean mass. Registered dietitian Angela Lamond says the fundamental problem with diets is an individual's calorie intake. Even though you might be the same gender, activity level, everybody genetically has um, various types of uh, percentages of lean mass. So that lean mass is what drives our metabolic rate. And that's exactly what FitMate is designed to measure. This piece of equipment can help us maintain um, what that calorie number is. Okay. So we put it Make to it the so test. Okay. okay, so this way. To see how it works. Okay, it's gonna calibrate for a second, so you'll hear it so. And just, as much as you can, just relax. Just Input weight, height, and age. And the whole process takes about eight minutes of normal breathing. The entire time, FitMate is calculating how many calories you burn while at rest. And when eight minutes is up... They estimated it was going to be uh, 1,300, but it was a little higher, 1,395. Yeah. Okay. You get a printout of just how many calories your body needs each day to either lose or, in my case, maintain current weight. I wanted to maintain weight based on this information, what would I have to do? What we, you would do is um, take this number and we'd add an activity factor, say right now you're not actually doing formal act, act exercise, mm -hmm. so it's probably going to be, you know, like 400 extra calories for these. That information allows dietitians like Angela to come up with a plan of attack to meet the patient's goals. Developing a, um, a nutrition program around those calorie numbers, quality food, um, meal frequency, and then also, of course, um, recommending a, an exercise regimen. A simple process. We want to make sure that they're getting the calories that they need. That can be the start of a lifetime of healthy choices. Ashanti Blaze, NBC5, Dallas.